Hey everyone, Benjamin here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fantastic back to school design using Canva. I know you're ready, so open Canva and let's get started. Okay, so this design is actually going to be a very simple one and if you stay to the end of this video, I'll be teaching you every single thing you need to know on how to make this back to school design I mentioned about. So let's dive into Canva and let's get started. Okay, so this is the design we are actually going to make and you can see everything is looking very easy. Not easy, everything is looking very simple. So the first thing you have to do is to create a new dimension and use the dimension 1080 by 1350. That's what I use for this design, but you can actually use any other one of your choice. Okay. So so that's what you have to do so i will just have to click on add a page and this is what i have so if you want to use the same color i'm using in my background this is the color code 5b2184 okay so that's what we have over here the next thing we're going to do is to press c on your keyboard to add a circle okay so you can add a circle and just stretch it out something like this and just position it you know here so you can see i'm not really dividing the canvas into two but it's just a little bit to half okay so after you do that the next thing you're going to do is to come into element and search for blob b l o b blob okay so just take your time and find any kind of blob you'd want to use in your design so this is the one i actually chose and um, i had to just change the color to white okay so if you don't know how to change the color click on your blob you'd see something like this color okay then you can just choose any color of your choice okay so once you do that the next thing you have to do is we'll just have to increase the size a little bit to something like this okay and i'll bring it a little bit to the top okay and then um, we'll need to make some interesting designs out of this not interesting design but some interesting um, adjustments so duplicate it first of all okay and i'll just, just position it straight on top click on any of the corners and press out while you you know drag it down you wouldn't see the difference but you'd be seeing it soon come to color and change the color to yellow okay so you can see what we have at the moment and i'll just duplicate it again okay position it right on top of the second one let me just change the color quickly so that you can see whatever i'm doing so i will reduce the size of this one to a little bit okay and maybe stretch this one out uh -huh, so that i can have something like this okay so if you are not satisfied with what you've done just use your arrow key okay to move things around so the shape behind okay i'm going to use a darker color for it a darker yellow so this yellow i'm using is e19907 so you can see then this would actually be a brighter yellow okay and the color code is ffb800 so that we can have something interesting like this okay so once you do that we would want to add a shadow to you know this main blob we have at the back but the thing is it's going to be a bit tricky to be able to do that so what we have to do is i'll just you know copy create a new page and paste it here okay then i'll just center the whole thing here come to if you're on canva pro come into downloads okay and make sure you take on transparent background and i'll just choose the particular page i want so this is the third page i selected and i'll just click download so canva should be able to download you know this particular blob without a background so while canva downloads my blog for me i want to use this opportunity to tell you about canva pro just in case you're looking at doing more in canva when it comes to removing your background images and it comes to resizing your canva designs easily to any dimensions of your choice when it comes to publishing canva designs directly from canva to any social media platforms when it comes to adding multiple brand kits and even having more animation options then i think canva pro is the best option for you so if you want to try canva pro for free i have a link in the description box below that can help you to just use canva pro for free the next thing i want to introduce to you is the professional canva templates i have created so i have a link in the description box below that can help you to get all my templates so check it out and let me know what you think afterwards so let's dive back into canva because i think you know canva has been able to do some work okay so now i just would download this to my downloads okay and um, it should download quickly okay then i'll delete this come into my uploads okay not photos uploads and over there i'll click on upload files and just go into my download so you can see we have it over here so i will just download this into canva then select it you know by importing it into your design or select it to import i don't know why i'm speaking as if i can't speak english okay so we would increase the size and i'll position this here you know just increase the size we are not looking for anything perfect but you know it should be close to you know good okay and uh, the next thing we'll do is just click on edit image you know still having what you have selected and before i forget just in case you're on the free version of canva and um, you don't know how to go about this you can actually find this blob um, png on my website which is the elements.theafricangeeks.com just search for blob and you should be able to find it that's a little way of me trying to help okay so yeah do that quickly
and join me okay so after we do that i'll come to shadows in shadows i'll click on drop shadow okay and um you wouldn't see anything yet but we are about to do a little adjustment over here okay so the offset i would increase the offset okay and you can see already the shadow is rather behind this yellow thing so um instead of trying to bring it forward i would finish the adjustment and move it forward okay then with the blurriness i would increase the blurriness so let me increase this so that we can take a look you know at this area okay then with the transparency i would reduce it a little bit i think the angle and the offset looks okay but you can actually adjust all of them from here if you choose bottom it would appear to the bottom you know so maybe let's stick to the bottom for the sake of this okay so yeah that's it then i click on my circle over here and i'll send it backward okay so that um the shadow can actually come in front so you see what we have at the moment this is actually looking very beautiful so the next thing let me just reduce a little bit the next thing we are going to do is to come into element or you can also come into photos okay and search for paper but the thing is looking at this paper we have over here you know it looks different from all of these things so let me just check the name quickly okay so search for white paper with clips okay so with clip and then i believe you should have this option pop up okay so i can come here and i can say you know it should be cut out okay so cut out only and i can come to photos okay so you can see we have that over here so select it and we'll just position it somewhere here then maybe i'll move this to the top okay and to make things easier for us we'll just select everything here and we'll click on group okay so that we don't have to struggle when it comes to moving stuff okay so click on your paper um element we have over here and send it backward okay so having something like this is very cute now you know when it comes to designs like back to school and things related to school the text that's normally used is a friendly text or something that is um casual okay so we'll be actually doing the same inside of canva so let's dive into canva and let me show you some of the options you can actually choose from okay so come to no before you even go anywhere press t on the keyboard for text come over here okay because we want to change the text of this or the font type of this okay then all you have to do is to search for school s c h o o l okay then search you would see a lot of options you can choose from okay so what i'm going to do is i'll just go through a little bit okay just to show you that there are so many options canva is actually providing to us but for the sake of this and for the sake of time i will use what i used over here which is a childish arabic so you can just search for childish arabic okay and you should be able to find that over here so we are simply going to say back to school okay back to school then i'll select or change it to white and i'll increase the size okay then come to effect then we'll add some curves to it okay so i'll position it somewhere here and i think it's looking very cute okay then i'll duplicate it bring it to the bottom and just see school so s-c-h-o-o-l okay so back to school now i'll just position this one also over here but i can also adjust this by increasing the size you know and uh, making it more interesting so i think something like this looks very beautiful you know for us so the next thing is just about adding you know some text over here so at this point you can just pause this video and just add your text okay to the button because instead of now going to type everything and trying to brainstorm i actually skipped the whole part of me trying to type the whole thing okay so let's go back and let's see what i've done so far okay so you can see i've been able to add my text and it's just very simple me adding date full drink barbecue party because i know you watching me look you watching me you love barbecue unless maybe you're on a diet which is fine mm? yeah so um what we have to do next is just add some school equipment like pencils and stuff like that so i'll just search for pencil okay and um canvas should give us a lot of options so you can just select any of these things you know add them in a creative you know way on your design so reduce the size because we are not going to be using giant pencils okay when you can scroll down you can also search for pencil sharpener so you can see we have these options also over right here you can just choose you know just adding things that would be related to um school or anyone who sees it can relate and see that oh, okay this is actually a school design because you know these are students use on a daily basis okay so you can also search for a ruler okay so just hit it and you can add any of the options so with this i can add it and send it to the back okay so i can just position it here and send it to the back so you just have to be creative about all of these arrangements you're actually going to do on your design then what we'll do next is we'll select all of this then duplicate it then we'll make it smaller all right and just chip it here you know not chip it but you actually rotate it a little bit and 
position it somewhere here and with this you can actually add some additional text maybe if you want to highlight on the day and time or something like that because in this case we only mentioned the dates we didn't add the time so i can just come here and actually highlight the time so maybe 8 a.m um gmt okay if it's going to be online i don't know what you are going to be using this for but you know this is what we can see over here okay then we can add some toys so maybe some lego or toys actually i mentioned legos okay so some toys over here select this you know you can just place it somewhere here and maybe reduce the size okay and the last thing i want us to add is an outline square okay so come into elements again and we are just going to go into line and shape so click on see all and just scroll down you would see something like this so you can select it and we are just going to change the color to yellow okay so i change the color to yellow i reduce the size and make sure to reduce the size from the corners and position it here okay you can see what i'm just doing this is just an additional thing and it's also optional so just send it behind and you should have something like this but you can see it's not going actually to the back so you can right click and send it to the back so that you have something like this okay and you can see from here at the bottom i added some extra stuff over here so let's say you want to do the same all you need to do is to go back into elements and search for blob okay so v l o b okay and um there are so many options we have over here so it's just a matter of choosing anyone with some curves you'd love to add increase the size and position them here okay that's not the same as what i use but it's just to give you an idea of whatever I did okay then I just change the color to white okay then you just add your text but you just have to make sure that after you add it you send it behind okay so that it doesn't overshadow anything you have over here so in this case I'll just come here and basically just copy everything I have here so I just copy come down and paste okay and it's just a blob it's just a blob I added so if I'm to click you can just see this is a normal blob I also added so maybe I can move my pencil a little bit to the top and maybe my sharpener to the top as well okay and if you are struggling to select element behind just make sure you press and hold control okay or command if you're on Mac then you'll be able to select elements you have behind so yes this is what I wanted to teach you how to make inside the camera and I hope you actually enjoy this so there are two things I want you to do first thing is to hit on the like button to support this video and the next thing is if you are new kindly hit on the red button you have down there which is the subscribe button change the color for me and i'll highly appreciate it the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next tutorial